What's up, MS? Today, what are we watching? Armenia. Armenia. What if we just get right into it? That'd probably be best. Let's do that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, let's go. Okay, I like the I've seen cultural elements here. Oh. Let's go. I like random trumpet guy. Oh, and random trumpet guy is there now. This is really upbeat. Yeah. Okay. Wait, this is such a banger. Yeah. This I... is like the train song from Moldova that got like a billion televote yeah. points. I hope that this one also gets a billion televote points. I feel like with the trumpet guy, they're trying to do like an epic sax guy sort of thing, and like it's kind of working. <laughs> That is actually a reference to that guy. This is like epic trumpet guy. He's not like twerking the air though, but he's like really getting into it. The way the music video is done is really like <laughs> cinematic, I guess. Yeah. I, I love the like the I don't know, I keep commenting the visuals, but I like the contrast of like you, you know, like she's all like happy, smiley, like having a great time. He's just like there like playing his heart out. On assorted wind instruments, it looks like. Yo, this is such a chicken. Is no one? No, but they had the chickens for kids. Oh, we have another instrument now. Same dude though. Yeah. What what can't this guy do? Trumpet, flute, fiddle. I swear, if they show me the saxophone, I'm gonna lose it. That's the last part. Two bucks. The triangle. The kazoo. No, I love the cultural elements of the song. Like it's going really hard into like the sort of like traditional sounding music, but it actually works very well. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. The man with one ending trumpet. Look at that is impressive. Go. Yeah. I love. Oh, that I love chicken. the chicken. The chicken needs to like, make it into the stage performance. They performance. get like ten oh, bonus really points so just sad. for the chicken. Okay, I think this is gonna do really well, and I'm talking oh, yeah. about I really liked it. I feel like, they, yeah. okay, that had the Pachaki, so in the music video, like, it was already hype. Yeah. I feel like at the live performance, they're gonna go, like, twice as much. Oh, I, I, mean, I would love to see that. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of potential here yeah, for I sure. I hope they can capture the same energy from the music video, because it felt very cinematic the way the shots were filmed yeah. and all that. Um, what I was gonna say, though, is that this is, like, such an upbeat song and I feel like juxtaposed to all the other songs which are playing which I feel like a lot of the songs so far have been like there's been some upbeat ones but they're mostly like kind of like this vibe is just completely different from all of that so I think it's going to like a refreshing. really good job capturing yeah. the audience's attention. Yeah it really stands out there's not really like any songs that lean so heavily into the cultural element as this one and yeah. so I think if they like just go 200% on that show that through the live performance I think the audience will love it Again, like I said, with the train song from Moldova in 2022, yeah. if they like go really heavy on it and like the audience like really enjoys it and it's not like placed in between a lot of other upbeat songs, I think it'll really stand out and televoters will really like it. On the other hand, if I think if it's between like some really upbeat songs like in its semi or whatever, like yeah. it might get lost in between like kind of like what people expect as like pop, like yeah. well done pop. This is really well done as well. It's just like both are like upbeat. So like yeah. It's kind of between what voters, you know, remember. Yeah. So, like, I could see this doing incredibly well if it went right after Belgium or Slovenia or some yeah. song like that, where, like... Latvia. Latvia, too, yeah. yeah. Any song that's sort of more solemn, I feel like having this after or before it would really make it, yeah. you know... Like, I, I would love to see the staging, like, what they're going to do visually for this, because I think, yeah, like, audibly, you know, they got it. I agree, like, it could it could blend in depending on, like, what the, the order is, but the song itself is, like, it's really good. Um, really leans into that traditional, but like in a really strong way. Um, I think like the visual, there's a lot of potential here and I think that's what could make it stand out and that's what could like, even if it is with all those other kind of like upbeat pop songs, the, the visual performance is 
could be like what sets it apart in that case. And I really hope that they can do that because if they can go all in with that as well, then like it's gonna do really well. Are they allowed to bring chickens on your stage or any other I hope so. that matter? Because they should. I okay. I think they can argue that there's no rule prohibiting it. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, come on, we we have like. like if not a chicken, enough. then bring another like flightless bird or whatever. <laughs> if like middle aged <laughs> grown ass. Yeah. <laughs> if, no, bring a penguin on stage. Yeah. But like, if middle-aged grown-ass men can like strip to their tidy whities on stage and fire cannons and whatever, then surely they can have a chicken. It'll be fine. I'm just curious, like, if anyone here knows if something like that's happened before, like bringing an animal on stage. The the, well, the, the, there's the mechanical. <laughs> well, San Marino two years ago had a mechanical bull, and then last year they had a song called "Like an Animal." <laughs> okay, well, so, so, smell you like an so, animal. I get the feeling. But the mechanical bull. I really want them to put actual animals on stage, because that that would be awesome to see. So, now here's what I'm thinking. I feel like, among other things, the chicken's gonna be one of the big standouts from this video, and I think if you scroll down, either the top or the second top comments can be like, they need the chicken in the Eurovision stage. They do, they do. So, so I'm confusing it with this who's thing. Who? What? Is that? Ones, yeah. Who is that? Dustin that, the Turkey? That? Which the one I was thinking about was Dustin the Turkey, which represented oh. Ireland. Was that an actual? Oh, that's a puppet though. In two thousand and eight. No, but but that's a. It says that's, that's a puppet though. Will they have like a real live turkey? God, yeah, I hope so. Let's see what the top I, I, they, they should. Yeah, like I want to see actual like real animals on stage. That would just add so much. To, and the best part is animals are very unpredictable, so it'd be like very chaotic, but in the best way. You can put a trumpet guitar. You can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Not that's what I was saying. MVP. Like yeah, like that is. Yeah, that's talent. <laughs> I know he's not going to be allowed to do that on stage because you're not allowed to play instruments live in Eurovision. But he what? can mime it. Yeah, yeah, all the instruments, if you see them playing, they're miming it. They're not allowed to actually play. That's like the yeah. Eurovision version of The Cake is Alive. Yeah. I almost forgot. The Sax is Alive. We need to get everyone's scores for this as well. Oh yeah, back to what we're actually <laughs> supposed to be doing. <laughs> we got really off topic there. I'm going to give them a seven. <laughs> Who's going next? Me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll give it. A, I'll give it an eight. There's a lot of potential there for sure. I agree. Wow. I'm glad the Dava special here. Seven point seven five. Oh, come on. Nice. I'm trying to guess everyone. It's just eight for you. This is fine. Let's rounds up. It's fine. I'm going with Dan. I'm giving it an eight. That was really fun. So what does this average out to? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It starts with seven and it ends with point seven. Let's move on. I guess no one right for that. It was it was seven point seven approximately. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> if you guys like so Armenia, good. you guys should comment below. And if you guys have any questions for Armenia, we will get the president. Maybe of Armenia. Armenians watching will be able to yeah. answer those questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe <Wait>. here. <laughs> here. Yay. Subscribe. That's not centered. Subscribe. You're doing great. Wait. What are they Subscribe. To do?